Hi friends and welcome back. Today is day five of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. The prompt for today is whiteout. If you want to play along with this challenge as well, I linked all the information down below for the Ugly Art Club. It is a free challenge. You can choose to use the prompt that they provide or you can just make it a challenge to get in your studio and play for five minutes every day. So with this white out um, um, prompt, um, I'm trying to think about what exactly I want to do with it. And the weather is very cold right now where I am and we are in blizzard warnings. So I thought what better way to do a white out prompt than a blizzard. So I'm grabbing this um, new stencil that I just got from Stencil Girl and I looked at it and to me it almost looks like what you would see through the branches of like a tree. And so I'm thinking, looking through it and you see kind of that blue sky um, and then I'm going to be adding some white along with it. So usually I am not very literal with my art. I keep things pretty abstract, but I did want to try to take kind of an element, um, something literal and apply it into an abstract way. So that's kind of where my thought process went. Um, sometimes you can just take a little spark of an inspiration and try to take it further. Um, it's okay if things are don't look that realistic when you're all said and done with them, but you can take something as a source of inspiration and go from there. I'm applying some acrylic ink now and a little bit goes a long way, so um, beware of that. And I like to add water to my acrylic inks. I like to see how they can drip and move. And so often I will spray them with a spray bottle or it wasn't quite moving in the areas that I wanted. Um, so I have a wet paintbrush and I'm kind of just moving that pigment around a little bit. Um, when I make messy papers with this method, I go crazy with the water and I'm not worrying too much. But when it's in a bound book like this, I am careful to some extent of how much water I am using because that goes through to the other side. I'm going to hit the pause on my timer just for a second here because I did use quite a bit of water. I need to have that dry before I'm doing anything else. All right, here we go. I'm restarting my timer. My page is pretty much dry. Um, not 100%, but it's dry enough that I can continue working um, on my page. Now I'm taking some white acrylic gesso. You could also use white paint. Um, and I'm going to kind of bring in that snowy look um, on top of what I had done before. So I feel like this kind of makes things um, go in and out of the foreground a little bit. So not everything is playing on the same level. By adding in some of that white, I am playing more with the layers and adding intrigue um, to what we are looking at by... Um, not having everything at the same dimension, if that makes sense. I'm thinking where I want to add my label, and I think that this page needs a little bit of texture, so I'm thinking I'm going to add a little bit of hand stitching in. Hand stitching is one of the easiest ways to add dimension into your pages. Um, it's very easy. You don't need any technical skills to add it. Um, it's really just bringing the needle back and forth through the page, through the paper. Trying to hold it um, with more than one finger there as I poke it through. I don't want the page to rip. Um, it'd be fine if you're going for that look, but if you aren't trying to have that look, just make sure you kind of hold it on both sides of where you're pressing in that needle. I'm randomly going back and forth, bringing my needle back around and going back in the front side. There is no right or wrong um, when you're adding this hand stitching. It's all about getting that visual textural element onto the page. Leaving a long loose tail, I didn't even bother knotting it to end. Um, I'm not worried about it coming undone. Um, if it was on a project um, 
that was actually, you know, going to be used, then I would worry more about that. But in a book like this, I'm not worried about it um, coming undone. I will glue it to the page and it will stay just fine. I used my sponge and that had a little bit of blue already on it and added some white there. Um, I just wanted that label to stand out a little bit from the background and by bringing more of a solid color behind it, it will help it stand out just a little bit. I'm bringing that pencil back in. I never want something to look like it was just plopped on top of my page. So with the pencil marks, I'm integrating into the background a little bit more. If you have any questions about the supplies that I use, make sure to check the description below and I will see you tomorrow for day number six of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. Thanks for watching. See you next time.